Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. This is James Holder for I From London. I'm in the Echo Arena today for the Battle of the Olympians show. With me, I've got the main man from uh, Frank Maloney Promotions. Frank Maloney, what's happening, Frank? Right. We've well, just seen a great fight tonight, you know, a great finish. Um, we, saw, we actually saw the end of a career of a, a British legend because he's the first one who's ever won an Olympic gold medal. Um, he came to fight tonight, and I, and I do feel sorry for Audley. Um, because he tried to redeem himself tonight, but, but he came up against a destruction machine, a tank in the making, a killer in the making with um, with his raw hands. You know, I'd hate to upset David Price. I'm now going to negotiate very softly with him because if he lost his temper, I'd be terrified of my head rolling around the room. Did you anticipate David Price finishing the fight that quickly? No, I never. Honestly, I I, I four rounds. I fought four rounds. I thought it'd be a bit cagey, Audley would try and survive, but Audley came to fight, and, and that was his downfall, and David saw an opening. What I've got to say is David Price is probably the best finisher in the heavyweight division I've seen for a long, long time. The way he took Audley apart in that first round, it was just phenomenal amount of power from where we were sitting it was just a colossal shot oh he would have knocked a herd of elephants out there to come walking through and got caught with that right hand you know i mean when it, when all went down i went i looked so i went god that would have knocked an elephant out you know and that that's and that's the truth i'm not just saying you know hyping Audley's nose, I think, was broken two places. Audley's had to go to the hospital, and he was in a bad way. I heard him talk, and he didn't even know the fight started when he was sitting on the stool, you know. But um, he, yeah. met, he met a guy tonight who had 8,500 8 people behind him who was pulling from that excitement, that crowd, that atmosphere, and it all generated at the end of his right hand, and boom, it was like a bomb exploding. He's absolutely fantastic today. It just, it's, it's a sad way to see Audley's career, if he is going to end his career like that, but more power to David Price to go in and blow someone of all his calibre out like that. It's just sending a message really to other heavyweights. It's sending a message to the heavyweight world, not just the British heavyweight scene. You know, we we have a plan, we have a, a route that we're on and we're taking that and, you know, we will not be diverted off our route. I've heard before you trying to match Price with Skelton, was this, this fight obviously the bald, as soon as the fight would ended, you've had the bald out for the Skelton fight, this is already laid in motion? No, I had a printer outside waiting, uh, you know, just in case, we, and the printer printed it and rushed it in, it was, it's still wet actually, the print. Tell us a little bit about this suit, um, the, the great London player, British public will know about these suits, last time we see you in a suit like this, Lennox Lewis, Do, are you trying to recapture this iconic, this iconic moment, Frank, is that what it is? No, I'm trying to invent a new one. It's a time, you know, it was 21 years ago that Lennox Lewis um, destroyed Razor Ruddick at Earl's Court in a great night of atmosphere. And I didn't wear a suit that night. I had a dark grey suit on. And I came to the arena in a dark grey suit. And I don't think I could wear a Union Jack suit again because that was, um, that was Lennox Lewis. This is David Price, a completely different individual. So um, I designed a suit that would have a bit of Britain in it, a bit of um, elegance like myself, <laughs> and red buttons for the people of Liverpool. Can't argue with that, Frank. Obviously, he is debonair. He's bang on, spot on. Do you have one in large? I could borrow from that. No, but I'm going to think about. I'm going to try a white shirt and a red bow tie the next time, or <laughs> just a bow tie. I can't argue with that, Frank. Last question. Um, after the skeleton fight, all things well. When can, when can uh, David Price's fans expect to see him in a, in a super fight? Do you know the f what kind of fight I'm talking about? I mean, all I'm going to say is tonight after that fight, I've been watching Twitter and I've been watching a, a fighter who calls himself a heavyweight. Um, I think he, his name is um, Chicken Fury, um, you know, challenging David Price through Twitter and, and saying things about Twitter. Stop using Twitter and behave and be hiding behind a computer. If you really want to fight, there's half a million pound there on the table. We will make that fight, you know, and the best man will win. So, Mr. Fury, if you are really a man and a fighter, get your man to phone, get Mr. Hennessy to phone me up and let's see what happens. All right, you heard it here first. This is James Held with Frank Maloney for I Film London. Thank you very much.